you guys have been asking us to shoot a video on the extended state DMT research and uh, that's what we're going to do. It's a bit impromptu, it's a little bit last minute, we're both really busy at the moment, Jazzy's over there look, smoking a fag, he's there and uh, we're going to have a little conversation about it. So just a brief rundown before we get into our thoughts on it. The extended state DMT research is was or has was put together by Dr. Andrew Gallimore, good friend of ours, and uh, we've got a video which we'll link above if you want to have go and have a little butcher's at it. It's just be there somewhere. Um, but basically, the situation in with it is that he wondered whether or not um, an anus Anesthesia, anesthesiologist anesthesia model could be adapted to the DMT state so when you are anaesthetized in hospital you have not a load of uh, anesthetic drugs pumped into you but a very short acting powerful anesthetic that is um, given to you administered to you in very very quick doses uh, and, and it's all worked out mathematically with the body blood lev bloods and so on and so forth i'm not a scientist but that's generally the idea and then you are able to be brought out of that state and put deeper into that state based on your operation that you're going to you know have um, operated on yourself your that was sound is shit didn't it The anaesthetic drug is administered um, to you based on what you're going to be having done to you and you can be taken, put deeper into an anaesthetic state or brought out of it when the operation is over rather than you know waiting for hours and then for an anaesthetic drug to wear off. And the same can apply to DMT. You can be injected with DMT um, and you can, depending on your body weight, mass, so on and so forth have the drug administered to you so that you can be taken deeper into that state or brought out of that state at any time hover around the breakthrough um, or then be plunged into the breakthrough and theoretically be kept in there for hours days weeks if necessary what would be the outcome of that and that's what we're going to talk about starters I'm not sure that I am qualified to really express any true knowledge of what I believe might happen in an extended state experiment but I can only use my own experience so I've spoken before about um, being given enlightenment towards the Fibonacci cycle and then recently I don't know if I've mentioned it too much but there was a green or a cross that I kept being shown in the state so if we want to expand on that, I wasn't great at mathematics. Being shown the Fibonacci cycle is something that came to me from the DMT experience. And if you look at that brief bit of knowledge that I got in a very short amount of time, and what I learned just from, um, from the mathematics, if you like, of trying to work out what this code was that was being given to me, and then realising that it was the Fibonacci, the golden ratio, as they call it. I, I suppose if you were able to traverse the DMT realm and meet with entities, and for them to give you that information, I think what what Andrew Gallimore is saying is, is the, the longer that you're in, and the longer you become accustomed to that 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 space um, the better your brain will be able to compute the knowledge that you're being given so for example Fibonacci, Fibonacci cycle or sequence it was given to me but it took me you know six months to work out what it was actually about with me going to bed every night trying to calculate something and work out what it is I had been shown and then on the other from the other point of view 
on a personal uh, personal matter, I kept being shown this cross, and, uh, whereas I've explained before where you see the geometry and you kind of go straight through, it was freezing in front of me and actually showing me this cross so that I couldn't, you know, my focus, I was able to focus on it, so my I was able to, it was stopping in front of me and I could focus on it. And it wasn't until uh, we kind of looked into what a cross might mean in a dream state that it became apparent from, I mean, you can look this up yourself, but basically everything that was written out on this one article that somebody had posted about what symbolism means in certain dreams, and people do this all the time, but the cross actually had, um, the cross actually had meaning to what had gone on previously in my life and where I had been taken and what I was kind of, you know, the emotions around what I was feeling at that time. Um, I haven't been seen, I haven't seen the cross for quite a while now and that is purely because I've moved on from that place so it would be interesting now when I go back in if I get visuals that stop in front of me and I'm able to see them. So this is the whole experience of an extended state, this is what they're trying to say. There's information in that realm that is being given to us which Paul and I truly believe and the more accustomed you are to getting in there and seeing that stuff and, and, and actually able to navigate that, that plane, if you like, then the more able you are to impart or bring back that information and then explain it in a better way than I'm probably doing now. So that's all I can say, really, from my experience of what could possibly happen in that state. What that information is, there's no way of telling what it would mean to humanity, who knows? But I mean, if it betters humanity slightly, compare it, if it betters humanity slightly, if you take what's going on at this present moment in time across the whole world, then it's only got to be a good thing. Okay, so what do I think about the extended state? Well, I've always said to Justin, that you know we've all I, i've thought about this for quite a lot and i thought well the analogy that i kind of put to it is that if if i was to fall off of a boat crossing you know an ocean right in the middle of the night as soon as i hit the water panic 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 you're in the water it's dark you don't know what way's up you don't know what way's down you don't know what the fuck's going on but then i would gather my thoughts right okay and I would then over time think okay where's the surface there's the surface I'm swimming for the surface right I get to the surface I see the boat off in the distance I look around me okay there's land there's the lights I've got to swim for land right so I I liken the DMT extended DMT state to something possibly like that so when you have a DMT experience you are overwhelmed, over, you know, everything is so intensely, just blows your mind, blows you away, you've never seen anything like it, it's an alien experience, my God, what the fuck's going on? But, I think over time, then you may settle into the experience, and you may get your bearings, and you may be able to begin to navigate it, and that's quite an exciting prospect, because, what we always find, or I always find, is that I go into the DMT state, the entities are there, it's quick, it's, they want to they want to tell me something, they want to show me something, get the information pool, take it, take it, get it. I'm like, whoa, hang on a minute, I don't even know what's going on, oh my God, this is amazing, it's beautiful, oh Jesus, fucking, then all of a sudden, that, yeah, oh, okay, that information, that's what, okay, oh, and then you're, you're gone, you're back out. So, I think it's interesting, I think it could potentially be, something that changes the face of humanity for the rest of time because if there is if this space is an you know existing um, orthogonal reality with with discarnate entities intelligence whatever they are if it's some you know um, expanded part of our reality that we're not yet aware of based on our five senses and our lack of you know our monkey brains and our stone age just coming out of the stone age um, then this potentially could be something that changes the face of 
of humanity for, for, forevermore. I think it's very exciting. I think Dr. Gallimore is leading the charge along with Imperial College Hospital, along with David Luke, Dr. David Luke. All these guys are now, we consider friends. And there's a very good chance that Justin and I possibly could be involved in something like this further down the line if we play our cards right. Whether or not we'll have the balls and the bottle to do so is something else entirely. But um, that's a quick breakdown. If you want us to expand on this and speculate even more, then we'll do another video about it. But it's exciting and it's starting to fucking rain and uh, I think we're done. Website. So we're going to do some shout outs to all of our unbelievable viewers. Uh, we we're going to do it today, but it's starting to rain, it's getting dark, and uh, I think that's the end. So, is that the anything you want to say? Uh, website coming soon. Love you all. Peace.